Once again, I have to apologize. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Miss Candy. Let's go ahead and have Nurse Wonka inject me with something, and then I'll go ahead and figure out what happened to your face. Or more precisely, where did it go? Did you really just come into my clinic without a face expecting me to draw one on? <laughs> How do you feel about that? It's not my finest work, okay? It's a little rough around the edges, but what does your ass look like? Delicious? Good. That's what I want to see from my patients. Don't take that out of context, okay? I'm a man of healing, not a man of butt stuff. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Nog, the game where I have absolutely no training or qualifications when it comes to performing robot brain surgery, and yet here I am, waiting for the next patient to come in as I hallucinate uncontrollably. Since these are usually pretty extensive and invasive procedures, I tend to ask patients not to drive before or after. It's not really safe, but I'm always shocked when they roll up in a lunchbox. <laughs> not to judge, Mr. Eater, and I'm sorry to keep you waiting. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take another hit of booger sugar, and once I've consulted with Infinity, I'll come back down to Earth and see exactly what is wrong with you. Right off the bat, I'm noticing that your face seems to be locked up. Uh, behind a cat code. Interesting. Nurse, please take note of that irregularity. <laughs> Can I get you to flip over? I'm just gonna take a look at your backside. What is going on here? Oh, uh... Mr. Eater, how long has your behind been leaking? Because that's quite frankly disgusting. <laughs> Listen, I, I know this doesn't really make any sense yet, but it's a diagnosis. We're working on it. We've already found that he's got the symptoms of pussy mouth <laughs> and squirty butts. Well, if you're not going to tell me what you've been eating recently, then I'm just going to have to treat this like some kind of Taco Belloscopy. There's nothing I can do for your mouth now, but I might be able to patch up your pipes. And hopefully that will deliver some amount of relief. Okay. Controlling the flow of gas is the sign of a good taco belloscopy. I don't know if that's really helped you. It's helped me a whole lot. The smell in here is improving dramatically. Oh, we lit his pilot light. Okay, so now that we've got you warmed up, we should be able to see what's going on inside. Oh, this is going to be hard to explain to the family. He's got a hungry wolf and a hungry rabbit hanging out in his mind's kitchen. I honestly don't know if that's better or worse than being served future diarrhea in a hard shell. What are the odds somebody scribbled down that cat code and then shoved it partially behind a stove for safekeeping? I know it seems like wishful thinking, but I could really use any help that I can get right now. Uh, nothing? Oh, oh, we got another one here, and another one here, and probably another one here, and we've got ourselves a cookbook? Not really what I was looking for, but sure. I'm, I'm guessing we need to feed these two freeloaders to get them out of his heads, but that doesn't help me with your pussy I almost said it. I almost said lips, but it's, it's a code. It's a cat code on his mouth. YouTube, don't take my ads for the love of Christ. It's a joke. Guess who just found another symptom? It looks like he's also suffering from some kind of tree lice. And there's four of them, so this is probably the code. What if we try you, and then the squished one with the dark eyes. I'm sorry, I haven't caught your names, and to be perfectly honest, I don't care in the slightest. <laughs> and there? Yes, okay, so now we can go ahead and see that big, beautiful face of yours. 
Oh, I can control the gas of the stove and the timer now. Okay, so that's what we need to cook with. So let's feed these idiots, get them out of his head, and we're good to go. Recipe is calling for three berries, a pinch of buckets, five cylinders, and a mug. That's it. Okay, did you guys remember that? Because I sure didn't. Uh, three berries. Okay, hold on. One, two, three. Mmm, yeah, I love when my rabbit berries grow back the second I pluck them. That's just delicious. And then we need five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And we need to, oh, a pinch of that. Say when. It's good, it's good, okay. And uh, mug. Mug. I didn't see any mugs anywhere. Did you mean this? Oh, is that bad? I don't know if that's bad. I'm neither a doctor nor a chef, so I probably shouldn't be doing brain surgery cooking, but I guess there's only one way of finding out if this works. I'm just gonna cook it. It looks like we need to set the timer to about eight o'clock and the gas to about half. All right, that seems reasonable, so the gas will go there. I hope this doesn't need to be super precise. This is gonna go there. Fingers crossed that that actually works. I think that worked. Yeah, okay, we made the mind wolf a cake, and the mind rabbit got a carrot. Not gonna lie, I think the wolf got screwed over in this deal. <laughs> You'd probably prefer to actually eat the rabbits. You are gonna eat that though, right? Yeah, there we go. And he passed out. That might be a problem. Don't I need to get rid of them? How about you? Punch down on that and then you're gonna also pass out. Great. Uh... Hey, uh, Mr. Eater, can I get you to sneeze real hard? That would really solve everything. Oh, I need to get the cheese under them. Mr. Mouse, could you help Mr. Eater, possibly? Uh, is that a bad thing? No, that's a good thing. Okay, I was, was going to say, I, I don't know if I want him to eat the cheese or <laughs> retrieve the cheese. Did I just screw myself? But no, he, he couldn't do it with the animals being hungry and awake because reasons. Is that good? So you've got cheese here, cheese here, and I'm gonna press your belly button. And all is better? Yeah! <laughs> I don't know what the last like five minutes have been, but man oh man, this game is just, it's so random and so tactile and so fun to go on tangents with that I, I absolutely love it. I, I got some kind of giant cooking robot head singing at me. Once again, I have to apologize. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Miss Candy. Let's go ahead and have Nurse Wonka inject me with something, and then I'll go ahead and figure out what happened to your face. Or more precisely, where did it go? Did you really just come into my clinic without a face expecting me to draw one on? How do you feel about that? It's not my finest work, okay? It's a little rough around the edges, but what does your ass look like? Delicious? Good. That's what I want to see from my patients. Don't take that out of context, okay? I'm a man of healing, not a man of butt stuff. I can twist your knobs the right way and flick your dials medically so that we can get to the bottom of the problem. And there you have it. She's suffering from candy shopitis. It's when a failed candy store is operating inside of your head. There's no cure, but I, I might be able to turn things around and make it successful. Step one would involve finding some kind of unity between patient face and storefront. And right now, we're really looking more like somebody rolled an Etch-A-Sketch down a flight of stairs. So it's not working for me. There's got to be something that I can do to fix the front, right? Like, if I could, uh... If I could just switch things entirely, yeah, that works. 
And now we're talking. We we've got some chocolates. We've got eyes that are moving, nose and mouth. We've got signs of life. Very important. Now let's go ahead and uh, advertise what we're going to be selling on your forehead. Sorry about that. So we've got uh, 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 cakes and ice creams and, and, and hot chocolate and death? Did that just say death? Did I see mortgages? What was, <laughs> what was that? Uh, I'm clearly missing something yet again. Uh, you're no help, by the way. Oh, I see. Okay, so we want the, the left and then the cross in the middle, the two upper... I should be able to remember that. It'd be uh, you, 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 and you, and you. It's all the sweets, of course. And we've restocked chocolates. Okay, and the patient seems to be doing a lot better. I think this is going well. I keep wanting to talk to this lady, but then I'm reminded that she's technically a brain parasite. As a doctor, probably should not be conversing with her. I am going to try jostling her chocolate, though, because I think I might be able to bring in some customers. There you have it. Okay, so let's see if we can get something else in stock. This is both a great storefront and a much livelier face. I think this is looking quite a bit better. I'm seeing some on-off switches and some eye parasites. I don't suppose I could get rid of those. <laughs> I'll find some kind of medication to prescribe for them. Oh, there are a bunch of knobs, dials, and... Oh, they want me to make ice cream? Oh, no, th th that's probably cotton candy. Yeah, the swirl would be ice cream. But that's not the right color because I can change the colors. Very clever. Okay. So we want a yellow cone and... I don't even know what you would call this color. What is this flavor? It's like salmon flavored... Oh, God, no. <laughs> that is gross. Yeah, probably worth throwing up over. I agree. If we jostle these, can we get some more... Customers, yeah, just, there we go, perfect, okay. We're turning things around in this head. You little beady-eyed freaks are buying something, right? It looks like you're tweaking out on sugar, but you can never be too certain. I think she just hurled product into their face, so I'm gonna assume that they are paying customers and that she's reinvesting that money into fixing up the storefront. It, my drawn storefront. <laughs> now we've got ourselves a, a ladder and a bucket of paint. Uh, okay, that that looks like a, a good thing. I don't suppose we could just keep hurling product at them. They'll keep paying. We'll keep improving. There you go. I'm, I'm seeing a face starting to form. We've got some brickwork, some teeth. We've got a couple of eyes imported from Italy. Fancy. All right, just keep shoveling it in. Worst case scenario, they pop and we just get new ones. Right? That is how kids work, isn't it? I think they might be full right now. Okay, um, let's just uh, find another face, I suppose. I'm almost afraid to ask, what could we possibly find next? It's just the squirty forehead chocolate again. We've already done you. I need to move on to new clientele, broader horizons. And that doesn't mean returning to the eye parasite cotton candy place. No, we want to find something different. Something weird. Hi. Uh, you are potentially having a stroke. This is why I should not be fiddling around in things' brains. <laughs> okay. Huh. So depending on which side I touch, the other side just kind of goes limp. Good to know. Other than the signs of impending brain failure, there isn't a whole lot else going on here. I can't flick the nose. You're missing a couple of teeth, which are weird. You've got money stuck to your head. 
which I need to flick your nose. I've seen money on all of the other faces. I, I just assumed it was cosmetic, like the goo on your roof heads. <gasps> all right, well then, if we just move around, we I wish you wouldn't squirt at me like that. It's kind of gross. We could just go around collecting up everything. Who would have guessed that running a business means not leaving money stuck to the wall? <laughs> Feel good about that? Let's go ahead and uh, give this a, a bit of a spin. And uh, you'll sneeze on me. Can we teach our store some manners or something? That would really go a long way. There we go. We got one more idiot kid. We can throw stuff at you. We've got a face. That, that is a, a face. Can we wake up the patient? There you go. I brought all of this patient's personalities back together. Miss Candy is now looking an awful lot like Mr. Candy, actually. I can't be trusted to do random surgeries. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm now five for five on saving patients. I haven't lost a single one. Uh, Yes, uh, please don't break my streak, Mr. Home, is it? Hom 3? I I'm really sorry, I I'm not good with foreign names. I, I just see a patient in need, and I see dollar signs, I, I get a little caught up. I also see a thief that just dove into your head. I just witnessed the equivalent of a tapeworm crawling in your ear. <laughs> that could be a problem, uh, along with... Uh, missing an eye. How's the other eye holding up? Is it compensating by being an elevator? Oh. Oh, that's not good. We've got a lot of patience this time. I know I really only take one at a time, but yeah, you know what? Maybe we can make this work. Let's go back up to the top, see if we can prevent the spread of infection. We know that the thief is in here somewhere, right? Uh, sir, you may be experiencing a home invasion as we speak. If you have some kind of safe room, now would be the time to burn it because the thief is inside. So all I've got to work with is the fact that the thief is behind the bookshelf and you're tired. Is there something I can do with your light? Or is this some kind of like a home electric chair? <laughs> uh, I don't think this range of motion is really helping. I'm gonna leave it limp. Maybe I can unplug it? No. Uh, oh, we should also blow out your candles. And there you go, now you can take a nap. Isn't that just gonna make the thief's job even easier? Wait, hold on. <laughs> am I helping you? I think I might be helping you. I am definitely helping you. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Doctor by day, thief by night. You guys don't know what I get up to after hours. You ever wonder how I know Miss Candy before she came into my operating room? It's a stripper name if I've ever heard one. I'm assuming the plan is gonna be to rob the whole neighborhood blind? Does that make any sense? Uh, can, can we get you open? There we go, okay. Ooh, we've got someone taking a bath. Let's take a peek. It's a block-headed child. That, that's not very fun. Uh, we've got water that doesn't work. Okay, we've got some symbols that don't make any sense. Wonderful. Something is going on over here with this. Yeah, laundry, laundry that I can't interact with. The thief is nowhere to be seen. What? Uh, maybe I need to come back here later because I'm not seeing anything for me to even do. Okay, let, let's go down another floor. Let's see what's going on inside of you. Oh, that was easy enough. This guy is busy coding something. That looks an awful lot like the thief, which is weird. He's coding something with his computer turned off. If I turn it on, then we've got a bunch of symbols that aren't really particularly helpful. It looks like I need to get in here. I need a code. And I've got dials now. Whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. Uh. That's good. That's two. 
if we can get a dial over here. Hey, that's good. That's that's great. Wonderful. Okay, and uh, what? I don't know what this was. We we got like five, six things that I need to put in. And they were on the screen? Okay, uh, well now that this is open, I should be able to leave it open and then it'll close itself again, damn it. All right, hold on. I'm gonna have to cycle through all the stuff on screen and figure out this code. Well, it definitely took a hot minute, but I think the code should be something like this? Yeah, there we go. And we just create a new thief. Or, or teleport him in, and then he'll steal the pocket full of change that this nerd had. <laughs> Little bit excessive. <laughs> that was both incredibly difficult and really simple at the same time. I, I like it. Just keep on moving. What have you got to offer? Oh, that's not going to be annoying at all. Uh, I'm not ready for that quite yet. No, I, I think I'd rather just head on down to the basement and see what exactly we've got at the last one. First, what? No one to rob down here. What is this? Uh, okay. Oh, oh, that's good. I needed water for the shower guy. I think I also turned off the electricity which may have turned off the alarm. It did, which is a good thing, maybe? Yeah, because I don't want this guy to wake up. So, where's the thief? Might be around here somewhere, right? I don't know why you would want your lights to control, <laughs> control your drawers and some kind of weird smart device thing. There you are. Were you frozen in the fridge? Are you kidding me right now? Okay, go ahead and rob from him. He's asleep. That was easy enough. <laughs> Just had to cut the power. All right, uh, so we've already got you, and you we were having an issue with because I needed you to take a shower. Here we go, close your eyes. And then I also got rid of the power over here, which means the, the, mm, okay, yeah, sure, I'll buy it, why not? <laughs> Who bathes with their money? Are we good? Yeah, he's out. Okay, now you better give me my cut. So help me God, I'll push you off this roof. Or you'll jump. Cool, whatever. I, I guess technically I, I get paid for saving you though. And I got your eye back. I'm a regular miracle healer. <laughs> Don't ask everyone else how their night went though. Oh, there's the thief. It's still hanging out at the scene of the crime. What a complete dipshit. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Nog, guys. And before you go, please leave a like in the video, leave a comment, I can't stress that enough because the last video didn't do particularly well and I get the feeling that's because the YouTube algorithm saw brain surgery in the title and just assumed that I was actually showing people real brain surgery and not a video game, and not even a, a, a robot video game. So it just doesn't show it to people and it really sucks because I felt like that video was one of the best ones that I've made in a while and that this video was a lot of fun. So like I said, support it if you can. I'll be sure to return for more because I can't get enough. We still got three more patients left. So I'll be sure to return to fix Vortex soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.